how to make coloring pages from your photos with just your iPad and a printer. Stick around. Hi everybody, it's Yael here and I'm back in the beautiful Pacific Northwest after having had a great vacation in Denver and Colorado Springs. And today I'm going to show you how I'm going to take some of those vacation photos I took and turn them into coloring pages. Uh, be sure to stick around to the end so you can see how to get the right size uh, for you to print out and color. Yes, folks, this is a bit of a travelogue, and this is our very first night in Denver, and what a gorgeous sunset we had. The first day we were in Denver, I visited the Molly Brown House, and here you can see the gold-domed Capitol right from the front porch. It was really beautiful. Now, the Molly Brown House itself is quite a building, and she was quite a woman. Uh, she survived the Titanic, and helped other survivors of the um, disaster. She was both a suffragette and a labor organizer, despite the fact that her husband was a mine owner in uh, Denver. And um, it was quite an interesting place to visit. Now here I made a coloring page from the front of the Molly Brown House using Pencil FX. Um, I really love the cool textures that it gives. On our third day, uh, we visited the Denver Botanic Garden, which I've been to before and really, really like. Uh, we got some rather cool shots from the interior of the Arboretum, uh, which houses all kinds of tropical flowers and tropical plants. And um, on the exterior, right outside, was this huge lily pond uh, with all kinds of really beautiful lilies, including some absolutely ginormous ones like these. These were about three or four feet across and had very stickery sides. I thought they were so cool. And um, there's a kitchen garden which has herbs and vegetables and flowers interspersed um, and beautiful walkways populated with all kinds of flowers uh, like this mandavia here. Now here I did a coloring page out of those huge lily pads, again using pencil FX. Uh, this looks really different from the other one. Next we went down to Colorado Springs and went to Garden of the Gods the first full day there. And this is an incredible place. It's all within the city of Colorado Springs. Yes, that's a rock climber up there. And it has these wonderful rock formations of red um, and grayish rocks all interspersed all through the park. Um, it's a national monument, but within the city of Colorado Springs, and we really enjoyed it. We spent probably about four hours there wandering around and climbing up on this balance rock right here at the exit uh, from the park. Now here I made a coloring page using the iPad app MySketch. Um, I really liked the pencil sketch effects in this. Now our last full day in Colorado Springs, we were able to go to the Manitou Springs Cliff Dwellings, which were just outside of Colorado Springs. Uh, they're quite intricate and very interesting. Um, there's all kinds of rooms and storage rooms. Uh, we were able to even go into some of the interior rooms, such as this one and um, wander around uh, in the interior. Now here was a ladder to a second story uh, dwelling um, and that was quite interesting to look inside. Entrance was very small and this was a lookout um, room uh, for the farmers overlooking their fields. It was very interesting. Now I made a coloring page out of this lookout room using the iPad app Etchings. It gives some very nice crosshatch effects. 
Our last stop of the last day was the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. It was quite an honor to be here since my father had worked for the Air Force for many years. Uh, we were trying to beat the weather and there was an incredible thunderstorm later in the day. This is the uh, Cadet Chapel, uh, which features in many photos you will see of the Air Force Academy. And it has uh, Jewish, Catholic, uh, Buddhist, and Protestant uh, chapels within. This is actually the Catholic Chapel, which is, I think is very lovely. Now this coloring page that I made is using only the native Photos app within the iPad. Uh, and this was set to a black and white image. Now here's a recap of the apps I used to make the coloring pages. Now this is very important. All of your images need to be set to 300 dpi and scaled to the size uh, image that you want to color. Print to Size is a very easy app I use to do this. Uh, first, you set the size of the image that you want to print out. Then you select the image you want to use, uh, positioning it in the corner. Uh, this one is 673 dpi. Then I pull the bottom corner of the image until the dpi or ppi shows 300 dpi um, or close to it. Then you just position the sides until they measure the size of the image you want, in this case 10 inches by 8 inches, and then you print. And here is a recap of those steps. Have fun making your own coloring pages out of photos. Well, there you have it, how I made some coloring pages out of photos I took on my recent vacation. If you liked this video, be sure to like it on YouTube, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.